morning guys welcome back to my channel today's monday um the reason that i've put you up here is i've got two things to show you this morning um so yeah it is monday it is the 7th of september already so soon um and i woke up with headache again like oh my god i woke up at seven o'clock and my head it wasn't like a pounding headache or anything i could just feel it was there um it's still there a little bit so i've taken tablets this morning um my hair has gone very fluffy from being curly yesterday so we'll just have to live with that today i'm really not that bothered it needs washing um <clears throat> but the first thing that i want to show you is i have finished other than weaving in the two ends, I have finished my blanket. It is all done um, and I am so pleased with it. It is actually touching the floor here. So I would say it's probably about uh, four and a half foot, maybe. I'm five foot nine. So yeah, I'm really, really pleased with it. So I'm just gonna hold some of it up so you can see but it's finished so I will um, I don't know whether to put a border on it or not I'm gonna weave in the ends and see how it goes the second thing that I've got to show you I can't remember if I actually mentioned this in yesterday's vlog I haven't edited it edit, edited it yet um, <clears throat> but I I think I did actually um, I washed my yellow jumper so if anyone remembers this yellow jumper that I made last year um, it's got the cable down the front really really lovely jumper the yarn was quite nice to work with and blah 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 um, but I washed it hoping that it would shrink um, I don't think it shrank I think it got bigger <laughs> huge the sleeves are huge um i don't know what to do <laughs> um ian actually put it on last night and i was in hysterics just because it was so funny to see it on him so i'm just going to put it on so you can whoops see <laughs> how huge it is so as you can see the neckline i'm not too disappointed about because i don't really mind it being like that if you know what i mean like off the shoulder um <clears throat> this is now the sleeves so my wrist is here <laughs> my wrist is here and yes both sleeves are exactly the same the actual jumper itself um i'm not I'm not disappointed in if that makes sense um because it could just be a really really large oversized jumper that's not the problem the problem is this um it's a bit ridiculous <laughs> and then as you can see the, sh the armholes are not where they're supposed to be um i was thinking of maybe chopping this um into like i don't know that sort of three quarter length because then i don't think it would be too bad but look at that it's like it's like wizard sleeves but it wouldn't be so bad if they didn't grow so long um the fabric is quite nice and um, the stitches have opened up massively so <laughs> what do i do with this can i stand back enough so you can see so it's just like a big massive dress and to be honest i do quite like it um other than these sleeves now i wonder if because i haven't tried this i wonder if i pull this up enough <clears throat> oh see that's not too bad that brings the sleeves up a little bit but then obviously the neckline is a bit funky i can always put a little bit of elastic in this because obviously i think the um the rib has just lost all its i suppose it yeah i think it's just lost all its um elasticity um and the back is like this <laughs> um it's not too bad 
if the neckline was up here. I don't know. I did put it on a 60 wash. Maybe that was too hot. I don't, this was um, yarn from Lollies. Chunky yarn. Can't even remember what the, I'm sure it was 100% synthetic. But, uh, so yeah, this is my jumper that is more now like a dress and that actually fits Ian because <laughs> he put it on and the neck was obviously scooped a lot um but the width of this actually fits Ian but um what do I do with it what can I do with this humongous jumper that is not too bad really um I think how would I put elastic in the top of this? Would I, should I fold it down? And then, no, I don't think folding it down. I don't know. <clears throat> I might wear it just around the house, see how it feels and, I don't know, or like on a cold day or maybe, maybe. I don't know. I look an absolute mess, but never mind. <laughs> I'm wearing a mess of a jumper. <laughs> um, I was just in hysterics last night, laughing so much at Ian putting it on. Because he came home um, from the garage and it was quite late. I'm, I actually met Ian at the garage yesterday. We had some dinner there with um, Bills. Um, and then I come home, Ian was still there. And uh, he come home, went to the toilet and has he come out. I said, do you want a yellow jumper by any chance? And he went, uh, not really. <laughs> and... Uh, I got up a little while after and I put it on and I walked in the room with it and it was like oh my god and uh, as I took it off and he went let me try it on <laughs> so uh, he tried it on and he didn't stretch it <laughs> because it was too big on him like it's just it's huge I think as an indoor jumper it might be alright and just for moping around the house I don't know. <laughs> we'll have to we'll have to see. If you have any suggestions, then please let me know. <laughs> but I'm gonna edit. My head feels a little bit better. I've made a coffee. I'm going to edit and I need to get some bits and pieces done for the advent calendar today. Um get them done and then I need to go shopping later. I need to go food shopping. Um got some ideas for like dinners in my head I was going to do a pie I was going to do spaghetti carbonara maybe some fajitas and not all in one day but <laughs> um sort of get a a week shop anyway yeah so this is my dis di disastrous jumper <laughs> um I don't know I, I really don't know what to say um yeah so it's quarter to three, it's so hot, I've been shopping, got a week's worth of shopping and uh, sorted all that out and planned out our meals for the week and so on and so forth. Um, I actually broke a nail, I don't know how, I don't know where, but I, this one here, um, I have got these fake nails that I got from Panland um, and I thought it was a near enough colour, <laughs> maybe not, um, my finger looks really wonky this middle one because I broke it when I was little and it's just wonky anyway um I put the now on wonky which don't help but no one's going to be really looking at it that close and I fold it shaped it to whatever and I was like oh, it looks okay and then about 10 minutes later I broke another one <laughs> so I really don't know what's happening they're only a week I've only, I've, they've only been done a week um, and they're snapping sort of I think it might be the, um, the apex point or whatever uh, but never mind I'm not going to do anything with that one I'm just going to leave it and because I can't bother I might do something with it later see how this one holds up um, and go from there but uh, yeah the rest are okay <laughs> I'm going to have some lunch I know it's a bit late for lunch now but uh, in Tesco I got a deli meat feast roll which are really messy but they're really nice because the um the roll has got like powdery stuff on it 
they're really nice um i'm just watching uh youtube but watching sort of like urban explore exploring i am watching um taser urbex uh and he does some uh exploring with um a bloke called neil and he is abandoned abandoned explorer i think um i, I follow his channel as well and um so yeah they go out together and they went magnet fishing the other day which or the video was the other day which looked quite interesting um bills has been magnet fishing before and actually found a safe um that was i can't remember if it was open or closed or if it was like unlocked um but yeah they went uh, him and his a couple of his friends went magnet fishing um it does look quite fun because you never know what you're gonna pick up from the bottom obviously when you go fishing you know you're gonna get fish um but yeah I'm gonna have something to eat. Um, I did a lot of work on um, the advents this morning, so I printed out all the badges that needed to be printed. I cut out all the badges. Um, I just need to make the badges now, so I'll probably do that later on. And um, then I can start putting them together properly because then I have all the components. Um, so I'm excited for that. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna eat something because my head is still hurting, but I think if I eat something, I might um, feel a bit better and just chill and watch some telly until Ian gets home. So we've just had some lovely dinner. We had steak with mushrooms and mac and cheese and chips. Um, blankets are dry, so um, no, well this this not, it's not dry, but this one is dry and this one is dry. So I washed those this morning. So they're ready to use. Um, this one, I'm not going to wash or anything. I'm just going to use it. I think, I don't think it needs washing. Um, I'll probably wash it sort of as we use it. So yeah. Um, we, well, I popped out with Ian to drop off something to one of his friends and then we come back, started dinner. It's only seven o'clock. <laughs> um, but it looks like it's going to pour down, but I don't know whether that's dark clouds or it's just getting dark <laughs> um i hate dark evenings uh i don't mind the cold i just i hate dark evenings it, the day just feels so short and yeah so that's why i prefer summer and i'm a summer person because i like the brightness in the day and the sunshine and everything anyway i'm gonna do some knitting of some sort and uh Maybe some, I might do an hour on my top, an hour on my socks, and then an hour on the advent thing, maybe. We shall see, unless I get stuck into something and just carry on. Uh, but thank you for watching this, another short vlog. Um, I say it's short, but normally they're like eight minutes because I've rambled on. So thank you for watching. Um, I'm going to Tina's tomorrow uh, for a couple of hours and then helping Ian at the garage. So um, I don't know if I'll film anything. We shall see. If not, I will see you Wednesday. Thanks for watching. Bye.